Good morning to you. Today I'm going to show you um, how to install Python 3.9.5 as well as install PyQt5. Okay, so we've got our new machine here. We're going to go to our favorite browser, open up our favorite browser. And in the address bar, we're going to type in here python.org. Okay. Alright. As long as you've got your internet connection, um, it will take you to this website. Um, click on downloads. Click on Python. Alright. And before I do that, I want to just go here and I want to have a look and see what is my, um, what type of system do I have. So I should be typing in your sys. Okay, and there it's got system information. I want to go to my system information. Here it tells me I'm running a Windows 10 Home Edition. I'm running a 64-bit system. Okay. So I close this down. Um, as you can see here, it wants to download the 64-bit version. I click on Save. I've already downloaded it. So I'm not going to waste my time trying to re-download it. Alright. Um, when it's finished downloading, you can click on Open Folder. Alright. And mine is in my downloads folder here. Okay. So I'm going to delete this one. I definitely don't need to. So now from here, I'll just double click on um, the installer. And close these two down. And from here, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose add, add path. 3.9 to path. I'm going to say customize. I'm happy to choose all these options. I'll say next. I'll click this option that says install for all users. And then I'm also going to change it to C Python. Okay. Click on install. And now Python will start installing. But as you can see, there's user account control. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to say yes. Okay, as you can see here, setup was successful. I'm going to click on close. All right. And if I click on start over here, I should be able to find under Python. There we go. Python 3.9 new. Okay. This is the command line interpreter, and this is the normal little one that we use. All right. But this is the finished for installing Python 3.9.5. So now to install PyQt, we've got to click on this and we type in CMD. All right. And then it's better to right click on this and say run as administrator. All right. 
you'll see the user account control comes up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Say yes. Then we present it with the command prompt. Okay. So we type in cd backslash for change directory. Okay. And we're changing the directory to root. And because I installed Python in the folder Python 39, I say cd path. And I can use the tab key. And you can see it automatically um, adds the full path. So from here, we're going to type some commands, okay? And the first command is we're going to say Python, uh, Python minus M ensure pip minus minus default minus pip. All right, so that says make sure pip is the default, okay? Says that it meets the requirements. The next one we type in is um, Python minus M and we say pip install upgrade pip. Okay, so now we're asking it to make sure pip is on the latest version. So it says it's satisfied with that. The next one we type in is Python minus M pip install minus minus upgrade setup tools. Okay. So we want to install Python tools. Although, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it says successful. All right, successfully installed. Um, then we want to go Python minus M, and we're going to upgrade the wheel. So pip install minus minus upgrade wheel. And that's happy. Then the last two um, commands we do is actually install the um, PyQt5. And the way we do that is by saying Python minus M pip install. And we say PyQt5. So now it's actually downloading the files from the internet and uh, it's going to install it via pip. Okay, it says that's installed. And the final bit that we need to do is install the tools. So we say Python minus M pip install PyQt5 minus tools. Okay, that is installed. 
I can uh, I should be able to go out of this directory if I type in your CD backslash I can type in Python minus version okay and it should be able to tell me which version of Python I have installed There it's saying I've got Python 3.8.8 It's because I've got an anaconda on here um, And so that's conflicting obviously with this But it should have said 3.9.4 or 3.9.5 Alright, now <coughs> once I've exited here You'll see that there's no, there's no um, icon or anything for this designer, this PyQT5, and you can go searching wherever you like, it's not available here. Alright, so first of all, um, I'm going to drag um, this Python idl, I'm going to create a shortcut onto my desktop by dragging and dropping it. Okay, let's drag and drop it. Does it want to create one? No, ah, there we go. Okay. So now I have a shortcut, okay? And for me, I've always placed all my uh, files under a folder called C Unisa. And so if I go to this PC, I go here. Um, I've created the Unisa one and I've created for INF. So I'm going to create a new folder. <coughs> I'm going to say INF2611, uh, okay? And so this is uh, the path here, all right? So I'm going to copy this path from here. And on this shortcut, I'm going to right-click. And I'm going to go to Properties. This screen comes up. Now, this start in option tells me where do I want Python to start opening and closing my files. So, I'm going to choose um, this INF folder. Okay. I'm going to say apply and OK. So, now I've got a Python um, idle shortcut. Um, but I still don't have the designer, the PyQT designer. And so, the way that you can uh, locate this is by going to your PC, going to the C drive, going to this Python 39 folder, clicking in the search over here and saying designer, and then hit enter. Okay. And because designer needs to be an executable file, Windows only recognizes um, executable files, we've got to look for something that's got a green icon at least. Um, so here we go. Here's our designer. Okay. So what I do is I drag and I drop this onto my desktop. Okay. Um, it might move it. So the other option is to right click it here and say create desktop or I say send to and I say desktop. Okay. And there it creates a shortcut. Because I don't like to really, um, yeah. Don't really like to drag it. Some some programs move it, so don't move it. Okay, just make sure you've got a shortcut, and then I'm I'm going to from this shortcut, I'm going to right click on here, and just say rename this to um, PyQT Designer, PyQT5 Designer. I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done with this Python. I'm going to say properties over here. And this path I'm going to change to the Unisa one. Uh, Unisa and there this INF26. Say apply and OK. I'm going to remove this quickly. If I double click on this now. It'll open my Python.
Okay, so this is the normal idle. Okay, I'll click on File, New File, and from here I'll just say Print and Oops, Print Hello World. Okay, say Run, Run Module. It'll ask, tell me I need to save it. Say OK. As you can see, it's opened in my INF 2611. And so I'm just going to say, hello, world. Click on save. And it should run. There we go. And I've got my hello world. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's helpful and useful. And yeah, good luck with your INF 2611. Thank you and goodbye.